Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 94, Football Manager 19. We are playing with West Brom, just as a reminder. And uh, so, we've come back for the EFL Cup second round. We're playing Swansea, and then we're going to follow up with Liverpool. Uh, just to kind of run through the matches, we've had two matches since our opener against Southampton. Everton, we beat 2-0. We picked up an old own goal from Elton or Aitlin. Yeah, Elton and uh, then Brendan Taylor scored the second goal for us. And then we lost 2-0 to Leicester, uh, Floricel and Miguel with goals, and we didn't generate very much at all. So taking a look at the competition, we are currently 11th, four points out of three matches. So let's get to it. I haven't recorded. Oh, God, it's been a little while. So you guys know I was in the hospital a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I had surgery. Unexpected. Uh, nothing life-threatening or anything. Just, you know, surgery is surgery. It's always a, you know, crapshoot when you go in for those. And uh, and then, I don't know, I was, you know, I was going to do some recording over the weekend and I never got on the computer this weekend at all. Uh, Saturday, I, I just came down feeling, you know, with the craps, uh, just feeling feeling crappy. And uh, had the cold sweats and the night sweats and no fever, though. Nothing, you know, it was kind of weird. So anyway, just been feeling shit. Uh, but I did... Uh, did go out to work today mainly mainly because if if I hadn't been in the hospital and had to have taken a week of sick days and vacation days to be in the hospital I would have stayed home today uh because I'm not feeling very good but uh anyway we're going to try to get through this uh Chikwuma torn lean, knee ligaments he is out for a while Bobby Brady doubtful with a bruised knee and Yusfi coming back from a double hernia. So hopefully he'll be back soon. Chikwuma is out, so that's uh, going to limit our striker setup. And also, uh, we did we did just move, uh, yeah, a couple of days ago. So uh, Bosdag, young striker that we had picked up, we moved him on for... Eleven and a half million dollars, the young German striker. He was third or fourth in my rotation. I've got those two younger guys that I that we looked at the end of last year. I wanted to give them a serious look. Not that he's old, but I wanted to give those two guys a look in particular. So uh, we signed him for four point four, uh, moved him on for eleven and a half. So we made a little bit of profit on him. Um, you know, is what it is. So let's get to it. Uh, let's see, where, where are we at here? All right, so we are at home. We are slight favorites. It is calm. So team selection. These are the three tactics. So I've got this 4-3-3 three, three with three strikers. I've got the 4-4-2 four, four, with two volantes in the central mid. And I've got the 4141 we played last year. This is very similar to the uh, the 442 with one Volante one anchor that we played last year. Just a little little higher pressing. Uh, Anthony Thompson played a six his uh, last outing. Not very good. Uh, but I believe. If I go this route, so that's Malone, Franeschini, Russo's the other guy I would like to, who's this dude? Some of these are still names I'm getting used to. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's right. We signed him for a million bucks from Grenada. He has not played yet. So what's his ratings? He's got decent pace, dribbling, crossing, finishing, first touch, technique, heading. Five foot six. Yeah, he's going to have to play a little off the ball there, isn't he? I think, where's Russo? 
Is he tired? He is not. So Russo is the guy that I actually want in my starting rotation. I think we're going to go with this route since we're favorites. Yeah, Malone and Russo, that's our two youngsters. I don't know how well the three strikers are going to work in this in the FM19. I haven't used it in, in this game. It was kind of your de facto. That was the one that was really successful uh, in FM18. So we will see. Had a little luck with it. I you know I played each each one a couple of times. Oh, well, whoever that was just ran into a brick wall and lost the ball. Oh, nice ball through. Wide of the mark. So not sure how that's going to work out. Let's see. West Brom stats. That's correct. That's what I want. Okay. Give them a spot of encouragement. It is raining, no wind. All right, nice control by Riccio. A oh, nice little one touch. Franaschini crossed it. Danny Omo gets it down to Malone. Oh, man. That was a good layoff pass. Oh, what a give and go there. Oh, just finding the gaps. Just finding the gaps. All right. Uh, if we go to our tactic. All right. He can play. They're all strikers. He can play attacking mid. Right and left. Eh. I'm not going to bail on this too early. All right. We're only 12 minutes in. Come on, boys. Push forward. Peter Douglas is anxious. Oh, there's one to Fran. Oh, come on. Oh, he's got to be gone, huh? Is that a red, a red card? Yes, get him out of here. That was brutal. Outside the box, though. And I'm guessing we didn't convert there since they didn't even show the highlight. All right, Riccio. Lumped in. Danny Olmo. Flapped away by the keeper. Sets up another corner. Man. Kelly. Oh, sets up a counter opportunity. We got back pretty quickly. We had four guys back on defense, so that's good. Um, seven to five on shots. All right. I think I just really wanted to try something different, and that was one that came to mind. Uh, let's go back to this one. Russo. Russo's on a yellow, so we'll go ahead and pull him. Uh, let's see, we can bring, uh, let's bring Danielle in there. Like that. Okay, that's fine. Yep, that's all good. Pep talk. Disappointing performance. All right. Let's see if we can do anything a little bit different in the second half. Four, four people in the midfield. That'll help us out a little bit. El Amrani to the keeper. I'm always amazed at how their players can head the ball down to their own oh crap hmm. 
the V uh, they go into VAR. All right, this is the first I've never seen that. I have never seen them go to a VAR for a call, only for goal line technology. So that's, I mean, yeah, it was obviously a penalty. I don't even know why he had to go to VAR, but come on. Oh, damn it. Uh, get creative. He got uh he only got a yellow for that. I guess we should count ourselves lucky. Danielle. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. Come on. Put the ball in the net. Oh, that's brutal. Uh 6.3 Let's bring Declan Rice onto the back line. Show some passion. All right, Recio taken down in the box. Good play. Tuati crossed in. Uh, nice run by Danielle to get to the ball first. Rice lumps it forward. Controlled by Danielle. Played out to Recio. Into the box. Headed just wide. Danny could not find the goal. Ugh. We've been a lot more creative here. A lot more goal chances. There's one. El Amrani puts one into the net. Center back finds the goal. Push forward. Peter Douglas is frustrated. All right. Uh, boy, I've got four yellows or I've got somebody that's really out of it on the back line. He's playing well, though. What about Danny? Maybe we'll Jake Robinson. Let's go ahead and swap him out. Kind of maybe get some fresh legs on that wing. Push forward. We're already attacking. Last chance here. Danielle up to Malone. Robinson. Franashini. There it is. Oh, so close. Oh, that was close. Shit. So even a man down, we didn't. I mean, we, we put 21 shots, 12 on target, and only managed one goal. Not happy with that. Two half chances out of 12 on target. Eesh. Uh, yep, disappointing. I will agree with that. All right, well, we'll be playing Liverpool next, so I will see you guys in just a second. All right, we're back for the match with Liverpool. Only three wins in 17. We are at home, slight underdogs. There is a gusty wind, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to fall back into our 4-1-4-1. Franashini up top. Anthony Thompson is uh, the young midfielder. Baliku. Let's give him a start. Let's give him a start right there. Uh, let's do him some training right there. We play him halfback, defend, 
let's do that. And let's go ahead and get to it. Do this for the fans. I, 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 I don't think soccer fans give a shit about their fans. To be all honest. <laughs> I don't think they give a damn at all. All right. Well, we're not losing yet. This is positive. Danny Olmo looking ill-disciplined. Concentrate. How dare you tell me to concentrate? We're overwhelmed now. All right. They're playing around with the ball in the box. Lumped out. And, of course, we hit it back right to the other team because that's how FM19 has all human-run teams play. All right, Grange brings it up into the attacking zone, intercepted by Tuati. He is looking for Franish Sheeny, who can't find the net. Hmm. Tuati's having a good game. He's playing a seven. All right, we'll be, yeah. What do we have? Seven shots to two. Hardly any possession, however. Passes, tackles, headers. All right, I mean, we're, we're in the mixer here. All right, we'll encourage. Franischini is the striker. I don't know why it's looking so funny on the highlight page, but uh, let's uh, let's encourage him, I suppose. Grasser is frustrated. Oh, no. All right, that's sent wide on the set piece. Probably got a little lucky there. See, why does it have my striker up here instead of down here? That's weird. Oh, well. No big deal, I don't suppose. All right. Um, Danny Olmo. Mid left. Actually, I don't have anybody that can replace him. Uh, Aguilera. Let's bring in Morgan Harris. And then Tuati for Nicky Maguire. Maguire's not hey, he's he's not horrible. But he's not at that level. Alright, Maguire to Taylor. Oh, what a save by the keeper there. Unless he was offsides. Looked like he might have been offsides the way the keeper put the ball down. Uh, lumped forward. Perez. Knocked away by Douglas. Good save. That is good. Praise. And that looked like it was poked out by Alberto. Oh, VAR. No goal. So, you know, I've never, that's another, I've never seen the referee go to VAR on the sideline till, till this match, uh, the first match here. Uh, Danny Olmo pulled groin. All right, let's go ahead and sub him out. Uh, but I've never, also never seen them go to the VAR for the line technology and call it a goal ever. In my videos, in my playing, other people's videos. Uh, Danny Olmo, mid left. Mid left. Wheel. Passing. Danielle. Let's put Danielle out there. 
He's not. He's not natural there, but he's got some of the ratings that I would like to see. We're only 39% possession. All right, there's Danielle, lumped into the box. Taylor, yes, Anthony Thompson, first goal of the season. Uh, we are going to tell them to uh, tighten up. And let's go, well, I'm not even going to screw with tactics. Time wasting and all that other stuff. Not going to worry about it. Oh, come on. There it is. Big win over Liverpool. 13 to 10 on shots. 18 to 5 on target. Only two off target. Two chances created. I could live with that. Excellent efforts. And hold firm to deny Liverpool. All right, Danny Olmo's out five to six days. He'll be back for our next match, so that's good. And keeping a close eye. And who, oh, Pe Pescara Calcio. Oh, Syria, okay. That's Italy, right? Syria? I believe so. All right, so let's see. Let's finish the day here. Eventually. Unai Emery claims your team undeserved. I mean, they looked better. But that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. We'll take the win, boys. I bet Jurgen Klopp wouldn't have said something so asinine. It was undeserved. <laughs> oh, well. All right, let's see. So that moves us up to sixth. Still early in the season. We've got a couple of teams with a game in hand still. But still, seven points out of four. We're ch Everybody's chasing Arsenal. Man United, Man City on five. Wow. Well, two draws. Liverpool with two defeats. That's pretty harsh this early in the season. All right, so where do we come back at? So we've been knocked out of the EFL Cup. So really don't need to worry about that. So let's let's get a chunk of games in here and get into the season. Um, I'm thinking... Somebody's printing something. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm thinking Tottenham Crystal Palace, maybe. Let's come back for uh, those last two games in November. And then maybe what we do is we come back after the transfer window with another run of games, and we can do transfer wrap-up uh, for the winter window uh, and come back for Everton and Leicester, maybe. That sounds plausible. And that gives us seven games between now and then. So I think that's the plan. So we'll see you guys back for Tottenham. Pound the like button if you don't mind. Subscribe if you're new or just haven't done it yet and forgot to. And we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.